Welcome to Spotlight on South San. My name is Lorena Gonzalez and I am the District Response to Intervention Coordinator. Today I'm going to be talking to you about implementing RTI on your campus. Response to Intervention is designed as a school-wide tiered model for identifying and providing early intervention to all students falling behind their grade level peers in the areas of reading, math, and or behavior and to improve educational outcomes for all students by providing a continuum of evidence-based tiered interventions with increasing levels of intensity and duration. The RTI model is a district-wide initiative that promotes the utilization of resources for students in need of academic and or behavioral support and is based on the dual criteria of significantly low achievement and insufficient response to intervention. It is a process for all students. The core principles of RTI include the unifying belief that all students can learn when taught with effective practices, utilization of a problem-solving method through problem analysis, the use of universal screening of academic, behavioral, and social-emotional indicators of success, early intervention that is prevention focused, and the use of a multi-tier model of service delivery. The multi-tiered RTI model focuses on primary prevention or tier one, which is provided to all students and focuses on providing students the necessary core academic and behavioral skills. Another form of assistance is called secondary prevention or tier two and is characterized by instruction that is more specific and more engaging. Some students will be unresponsive or unsupported by primary prevention and more specialized interventions will be required. The goal of tertiary level interventions or tier three is to reduce the intensity, complexity and impact of the academic and or behavioral problems. This tier is characterized by a small proportion of students who require highly individualized and intensive interventions. The basic components of an RTI approach are the provision of scientific research-based instruction and interventions in the general education classroom, monitoring and measurement of student progress in response to the interventions, and use of these measures of student progress to make educational decisions. When is the RTI process started? The RTI process is started when a student demonstrates academic and or behavioral challenges based on universal screening data, student products, and classroom observation, and who despite receiving adequate instruction, fails to make sufficient progress in general education without the use of specific support. The RTI model is organized into three levels or tiers. Students can move back and forth between the three tiers as decided by the problem solving team. In addition, students can continue to receive tiered interventions as long as they are making adequate progress toward goals. Tier one refers to the universal school-wide instruction or intervention provided to all students and is the foundation of the RTI instructional model. Tier 1 focuses on the core curriculum taught within the general education classroom in which students receive high-quality standards-based instruction that is designed to meet a broad range of needs. It is expected that 80% of students will make acceptable academic progress and demonstrate age-appropriate social skills in Tier 1. All students receive universal screening, quality instruction aligned with the Texas Essential Knowledge and Skills and positive behavioral supports, as well as regular progress monitoring. Tier 2 targeted intervention includes matching student needs with effective interventions. Some students typically continue to struggle academically and or behaviorally, even after receiving Tier 1 interventions. Their learning rate falls below the preset cutoff score on universal benchmark data and data generated by the teacher demonstrates low academic achievement. For these students, the next step is to provide them with tier two support. This population includes about 20% of at-risk students. 
Students in Tier 2 receive extra help in or outside of the classroom to ensure progress. Extra help may be provided in small groups on a regular basis. Students continue to receive quality instruction aligned with the Texas Essential Knowledge and Skills and positive behavioral supports, as well as regular progress monitoring. It is expected that 10 to 15% of students will be successful with Tier 2 assistance. Tier 3 includes intensifying interventions for struggling students. Students who have not responded adequately to Tiers 1 and 2 receive specific, custom-designed, individual or small group instruction beyond the instruction in Tier 1. This level of intervention is aimed at those students who have been identified as having significant academic or behavioral difficulties. Tier 3 addresses the needs of approximately 5 to 10 percent of the students. Students in Tier 3 receive more intensive interventions, often individually or in small groups, on a more frequent basis than Tier 2 students. Students continue to receive quality instruction aligned with the Texas Essential Knowledge and Skills and positive behavioral supports, as well as regular progress monitoring. A critical element of an effective RTI process is effective problem solving based on student data. To be most effective, a team approach is recommended for problem solving within the RTI model. The problem solving process is a cyclical process that has four steps, problem identification, problem analysis, plan implementation, and plan evaluation. The RTI problem-solving process is to be used for all academic and or behavioral concerns. South San Antonio ISD is committed to providing support and information for the effective implementation of an RTI model to ensure the academic and behavioral success of each student. Thank you, and this was your Spotlight on RTI.